हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो एज वी ऑल नो ओनली क्रिएटिंग ए रिपोर्ट यूजिंग पावर बी आई इज नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज इफ यू हैव क्रिएटेड रिपोर्ट यूजिंग पावर बी आई एंड इट्स लुक गुड ऑन यू आई बेसिस नो डाउट बट इफ द रेस्पॉन्स टाइम और वी कैन से द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द रिपोर्ट इज स्लो देन क्लाइंट विल नेवर एवर एक्सेप्ट योर रिपोर्ट राइट because nowadays nobody has time to wait for few minute even more than 3 second to see the result okay so whatever report you have created using power bi that must be responsive one it means the response time of the report must be better or we can say the performance of the report should be much much better okay so in today's video i am going to tell you how you can increase the responsiveness or we can say the performance of a report that you have created using power bi and the process is called as the optimization of a report okay so let's see what are the rules you should follow during creating a power bi report so that the performance of the report will be better okay so the first rule that you should follow during creating your power bi report is try to use measures instead of calculated column okay why it is like this because measures are calculated on the fly when needed which means they do not consume memory or storage in your data model until they are actually used okay but on the other hand whenever you are creating a calculated column they need space to store the data in the data model which can lead to increase the memory and storage requirements all right so potentially it slow down the report performance especially with the large data sets okay that's why always you should try to use measures instead of calculated columns okay this is the first rule then the next is try to import only tables which are needed from the database it means importing unnecessary tables can significantly increase the size of your power bi data model which is leading to slower report performance and increase memory and storage consumptions okay by importing only the required tables you can keep your data model more responsive okay on the other hand unnecessary tables in the data model can make it more complex and harder to manage correct that's why you should import only tables which are needed from the database by the help of which your power bi report and the data model will be easier to maintain okay and by the help of this also you can quickly identify the error and you can solve that out as soon as possible that's why we should import only tables which are needed from the database by the help of which your power bi report and the data model will be easier to maintain and you can also quickly identify the issue and you can solve that out as soon as possible okay so in short if you will not import the unnecessary data to the power bi data model then obviously the reference time of the report will be faster then the next is you can easily maintain your report and also you can improve the user experience by reducing the complexity okay that's why this is the second point where we have mentions try to import only the necessary data from the database okay then the third rule that you should follow is try to use import mode rather than direct query mode because in case of import mode it provides faster query performance because data is loaded into the power bi in memory engine okay in case of import mode so query can be executed more quickly since they do not have to go back to the source database for every interactions all right but in case of direct query mode whenever you will perform any task or any queries every time it will move to the source database for getting the result that's why it will take more time to execute a task and it will definitely affect our report performance correct that's why we should select import mode instead of direct query mode all right then the next important point is always try to use the light custom visuals whenever you are creating a report in power bi okay it means before using any custom visual always try to check the performance of that custom visual using performance analyzer options then only try to import that to the power bi environment and to on top of that you can create the visualizations because if the performance of the visualizations is very slow then definitely it will impact on the entire report performance correct 
so always be careful whenever you are importing any custom visual from the marketplace all right then the next important rule that you should follow is try to use the data profiling and remove empty rows columns and unwanted data at the source level it means whenever you are importing any data always try to find out the unwanted data like empty rows empty columns null value etc at the source level and before loading the data try to make it clean in the source level itself so that the size of the data will reduce and it will keep only the clean data all right by the help of which the performance of the report which will create on top of that clean data will be smooth and faster got it then the next rule you should follow is try to avoid many to many relationship during creating the data modeling in power bi it is one of the most important concept that you should remember whenever you are going to create the data modeling in power bi because whenever you are doing the data modeling part always try to avoid many to many relationship by creating a bridge table or by creating a intermediate table in between that two table okay because in most of the cases many to many relationship make the report very complex and definitely if the data modeling part is complex then it will reduce the performance of the entire report all right then the next rule you should follow is try to use the swiss dex and fill parameters to consume less space okay it means by using the swiss dex and fill parameters it can help improve the readability maintainability and performance of your dex formulas it also potentially reduce the memory consumptions in your data model okay that's why you should always try to use swiss dex and fill parameters during creating your power bi report all right then the next rule is try to use less use of slicer during creating your report okay because if you will use more number of slicers then whenever user will apply slicers in the ui part of the report then the number of transactions in the backend part of the power bi desktop will be more and it means the number of filtering of the data will be increased right so definitely it will impact the report performance got it so always try to use less and less number of slicer during creating your report okay then the next important thing that you should do during creating your power bi report is disable the data hierarchy key or we can say always try to disable the auto date and time in the setting options of the power bi okay because unnecessarily it create the hierarchy even we don't need that in our report got it and it consume the space as well right and if it is taking the space unnecessarily then definitely it will affect the performance of the entire report correct so always try to disable these two things if you don't need that in your report okay then the next rule is always try to use the merge column okay because merge column is a powerful data transactions techniques that allow you to reshape and prepare your data for analysis reporting and visualizations correct so if you will use the merge column how it will increase the performance so let me give one example okay suppose we have a table called as the employee and in that table we have two different column that is employee in first name and employee last name all right so if you will create two different column then definitely the number of space that is taking will be more right and instead of that if you will create a new column that is full name by merging that first name and last name together and we will create one column then the number of space definitely it will take will be reduced correct and if the number of space will be reduced then the performance of the report will be faster got it that's why we should always try to use merge column whenever it's needed next is try to avoid the use of text data type columns because text data types takes more space as compared to other data types like other data types like number or boolean correct the next rule is try to use the reference rather than duplicate because if you will create a duplicate value definitely it will take space to store the duplicate values correct so instead of creating the duplicate value always try to use the reference so that the number of space will be saved so that the performance of the report will be increased correct then the next important point is try to use the bookmarks and buttons but remember it should be also limited 
if the number of bookmarks and the buttons will be increased then definitely it will again impact on their performance so it should be limited got it then the last point that you should always remember during creating your data modeling in power bi is always try to give the first priority to the star schema then give the second priority to the snowflake schema okay because in case of star schema we have a direct relationship between the tables whereas in case of snowflake schema we have a indirect relationship between different tables correct which make our report very complex got it and if the data modeling part got complex then definitely the performance of the report will got slower okay that's the reason why you should give first priority to the star schema and second priority to the snowflake schema okay so these are few most important concept that you should always remember during creating your power bi report to increase the performance okay so thanks for watching take care bye bye